In this video, we will show you how to assemble the Pan Tilt Camera Module with the Raspberry Pi and introduce Raspberry Pi's environment configuration. Firstly, assemble the base and Raspberry Pi. Attach the silver metal round head screws PM2.55 and hexagonal standoffs M2.5 5 plus 5 to the four screw holes indicated by the screwdriver. Align the Pi with the four standoffs and place it on top, paying attention to the orientation of the Pi. Then install the camera cable and the general driver for robots. Connect the FFC cable to the Raspberry Pi. Please pay attention to the FFC cable's orientation, that is, put the metal side of the camera cable onto the HDMI interface. After inserting the cable into the camera interface, you can press the black latch to make it tighter. Install the standoffs M2.5 times 16 plus 4 on the Raspberry Pi's four standoffs. Attach the general driver for robots to the Raspberry Pi through the 40-pin header and pay attention to adjusting the FFC cable after connection. Fix the standoffs M2.5 asterisk 14 onto the four standoffs of the general driver for robots. By now, the base, Raspberry Pi, and the general driver for robots are installed. Next, let's install the pan servo. First, let's see the installation of the LCD on the chassis mounting plate, power port, and antenna. Tear off the protective film on the LCD. Please pay attention to the LCD orientation. If the orientation is wrong, the LCD cannot be installed onto the chassis mounting plate. Use black metal countersunk head screws KM2.5 times 8 and the silver metal hex nuts M2.5 to fix the screen on the chassis mounting plate. Insert the PH2.0 dual plug 4 pin cable on the back of the LCD interface. Unscrew the nuts on the power cable and thread the power cable into the power port on the chassis mounting plate. Then screw the nut back to secure the power interface. Next, unscrew the nut on the antenna and remove the other parts. Pay attention to the antenna port where one side is flat. Insert this flat side facing towards oneself into the antenna port on the bottom plate. If not aligned properly, it won't fit. Insert the previously removed parts into the antenna connector one by one and screw the nut back to secure them using a small wrench. Finally, install the black metal cuphead hex screws M3 times 4 and silver metal round isolation pillars M335 plus 6 into the four holes indicated by the screwdriver. Then let's fix the servo on its mounting plate. Place the servo mounting plate on top of the servo with the wave share label facing upwards. Use black metal round head self-tapping screws PA2 times 5 to secure the servo to its mounting plate through the four screw holes indicated by the screwdriver. Attach the toothed disc of the servo to the gear, pressing it down firmly. Insert both black servo wires into the servo ports installed above. Take out a screw from the servo screw pack. Secure the black bearing retainer onto the toothed disc of the servo motor by fixing the screw on the central screw hole. Ensure that the other four holes on the black bearing retainer align with the four holes on the toothed disc of the servo. Screw the antenna cap onto the antenna connector on the bottom plate where the pan servo motor is placed. Thread one of the servo wires through the middle port of the chassis mounting plate where the pan servo is placed. Use black metal cuphead hex screws M3 asterisk 4 to secure the servo and the chassis mounting plate onto the silver metal round isolation pillars. Place the three thrust ball plane bearings on the servo. Insert the elastic washers M3 into the black metal countersunk screws KM3 asterisk 16. Place the assembled screws into the four screw holes indicated in the center of the pan tilt bracket. Then align and screw into the four holes of the previously installed black bearing retainer. 
after tightening rotate it a few times. With this step, the installation of the pan servo is complete. Then let's install the tilt servo and the camera. Take out another servo and mount the toothed disc onto its gear. Mount the disc without gears on the other side. Install the servo onto the pan tilt bracket, ensuring proper alignment on both sides. Secure the four holes on each side of the servo motor's disc with black metal cup head hex screws M3 asterisk 4 and secure the center hole on the side with a wave share label. At this point, both servo motors should be installed and can be manually rotated. Disconnect and organize the ribbon cable from the camera. Insert black nylon round head screws PM2 asterisk 8 through the four holes on the camera and tighten them with black nylon hex nuts M2. Secure the camera onto the four holes indicated on the pan tilt camera kit, ensuring that the camera FFC cable interface faces downwards. Tighten with black nylon hex nuts M2. Remove the nut from the LED. Insert the LED into the hole above the camera and use the previously removed nut to secure the LED in place. Secure one side of the pan tilt camera kit onto the tilt servo using black metal round head self-tapping screws PA2 asterisk 5. Ensure not to screw into the wrong holes. Repeat the same step on the other side. Finally integrate all parts together. Plug all the wires shown in the video into the corresponding interfaces on the general driver for robots. Secure all parts of the pan and tilt servos to the hexagonal standoffs M2.514 on the general driver for robots using black metal countersunk screws KM2.58. Connect the camera FFC cable to the camera. Install the pan tilt metal protective cover above the LED and tighten both sides with black metal countersunk screws KM2.5 asterisk 8. Finally, tidy up all the wires. You can insert the wires into the middle part between the general driver for robots and the base of the pan servo. Remove the camera cap to complete the installation. In the video, transparent suction pads were used, but you can also use white silicone pads placed on the four feet of the overall base. The installation of all parts of the product has been explained. Next, we will explain the environmental configuration for the Raspberry Pi. After inserting the SD card, click on the Raspberry Pi Imager official website download link provided in the tutorial. Download the Raspberry Pi Imager for the corresponding system. After the download is complete, install it. Once installed, run the software. Click on Choose Device and select the appropriate Raspberry Pi model based on your device. Click on Choose OS and select the first option, Bookworm 64-bit. After selecting, click Next, then click Edit Settings to configure the username and Wi-Fi settings. In the General section, set the hostname, username, and Wi-Fi settings. The username, password, and Wi-Fi hotspot and password all need to be changed to your own. Enable SSH service in the Services section so you can use SSH to remotely connect to your Raspberry Pi system. After setting up, click Save. Clicking Yes will prompt that all data on the SD card will be deleted. Select Yes to start burning the image. Wait for a while. After burning is complete, the SD card will automatically eject. Remove the SD card and insert it into the Raspberry Pi. Turn on the main power switch to power up the Raspberry Pi. Open CMD in the Start menu of My Computer. Type SSH hostname at a address in the command prompt to remotely connect to the Raspberry Pi. Enter yes, then enter the password you set earlier. No change on the screen when entering the password is a normal occurrence. After entering the password, press enter to access the Raspberry Pi. 
Download the example demo zip file for this product on the Raspberry Pi and enter the above command to download it. After downloading, unzip the point underscore RPI dot zip file. After unzipping, navigate to the point underscore RPI directory and grant executable permissions to the setup.sh and otorin.sh files. Execute sudo slash setup.sh i to install the software using the installation script. This installation process will take a few minutes. After completion, the window will display setup completed. Execute the dot slash .sh file, then finally enter sudo reboot to restart and apply the installation changes. From now on, the installation and environmental configuration for the pan tilt camera module are finished.